What's up, Pokemon community? I'm Trainer Josh, and I'm super stoked because today is the official release date of the uh, Pokemon Trainers Toolkit. And uh, while I haven't been able to find any in stores, I actually got my order in today, which is kind of shocking because I it was supposed to be shipped today, and I thought I was going to get it like in a few days, but we got it today. That's pretty amazing. So I want to dive right into this bad boy. I am like extremely excited. I've been waiting for this product to come out. So, let's open it up. I love the colors on it too. Red and black, my two favorite colors. All right. Move this out of the way so you can kind of see this here. Really, really cool. All right. Oh, that is gorgeous. Love this box. And I think it slides out inside. No, it's, how does this open? I don't want to like ruin the box. So, ah, oh, I see. There we go, so it folds open like this. Awesome. You guys can see inside there, this is what it looks like. It's got a bunch of packs here. So it comes with an Unbroken Bonds, a Sword and Shield, and two Rebel Clash packs. That is really cool. And it comes with these really cool looking dice. They're black, they're just black and white, so those are kind of normal, but I really like the, the big dice. It's like a glitter type of dice. That's really cool. I like it. These sleeves, oh, those are cool. Dang. Those are some nice sleeves. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Usually the quality of these kind of sleeves is not very good, but the designs are so cool. I, I, I'll probably end up using those, to be honest with you. It comes with... What is this? This is the uh, um, Pokemon trading card uh, game rules. So if you're just learning how to play, there's a little rule book. Ooh, a deck builder's guide. That's pretty cool. I guess it teaches you how to, like build decks and stuff, that's awesome. Some more of these uh, poison and burn counters. And, all right. So I actually am gonna keep a code for this one. It does come with a code. Um, if I get another one, I might end up giving the code of that. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure because I actually do kind of need the Denes for online, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, I think, is this just energies? This is an awfully thick stack. I think it might just be energies here. Let's take a look. Right. So yeah, this is just a big stack of energies. As if I needed more of those. <laughs> All right, move these aside. It's a really nice box. I'll probably actually use this to like hold decks and stuff. I'm going to close it up gently. Awesome, and I'm gonna set this aside so it's out of the way. And let's go through this. Oh man, look at this artwork. This is nice. All right, uh, let me get this open so I can show you the actual cards. If I can, there we go. Got it. Ugh. Awesome, so let's go through these. Oh man, I love this, this art, this is so cool. So it comes with two of these Dedenes, these beautiful alternate art Dedenes, a couple of Malolanas, Boss's Orders. This this is uh, one of the big draws next to the, uh, the Dedene, of course, of this box. And alternate art Poke Gear, which is really, really cool. Quick Balls, you can always use more Quick Balls. Fire Crystals, Rare Candy, Energy Spinner, Switch, Tool Scrapper, Metal Saucer, Speed Energy, Welder, a really cool art of the uh, reset stamp, an um, ordinary rod, a really cool art of Pokemon communication. I really like that, that's too cool. Marnie, balloon, uh, air balloon, Turfield Stadium, Vitality Band, Giant Hearth, Twinergy, uh, Greens Exploration, Tool Scrapper, Aurora Energy, Professor's Research, another welder. Evolution Incense, another Speed Energy, another of the uh, Alternate Art Reset Stamps, another Fire Crystal, uh, another Boss's Order, which is awesome, uh, another Marnie, another Rare Candy, another Quick Ball, Pokemon Communication, Alternate Art, Poke Gear Alternate Art, Switch, Metal Saucer, Aurora Energy, Ordinary Rod, Vitality Band, Twin Energy, Another Research, Turfield Stadium, Energy Spinner, Evolution Incense, 
Giant Hearth, Greens Exploration, and finally another Air Balloon. So, comes with a lot of really useful trainers, a lot of staples in uh, several decks. So it's, it's, I mean, aside from the two Ultimate Art of Dene's and the Boss's Orders, I really think that this is like totally worth it. Plus the fact that it comes with these four packs is just awesome. So we're gonna do Unbroken Bonds first, and then we'll go Sword and Shield, and then the two Rebel Clash packs. And for Rebel Clash, I'm gonna do the Inteleon, or sorry, the um, Toxtricity last, because that's my favorite artwork of the new packs. All right, Unbroken Bonds. Let's see if we can pull something cool. All right, I will give the codes for these away. So there's that code. We'll go one, two, three to the front. Take off the energy. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do Leonhardt's uh, guest energy game. I'm gonna say that it's fire. And it is not. <laughs> cool. Here we go. Uh, starting out with a Fero. A Charge of Bug, a Pukumuku, Lolan Diglett, Slowpoke, Litten, Sandshrew, Murkrow, Reverse Hollow Meowth, and on the end, a Hollow Slowbro. Okay, cool. We got a Hollow out of it. Not bad, not bad. Alright, on to Sword and Shield. Andrew, or sorry, the uh, code. I was going to say energy, but no. One, two, three to the front. Take off the energy, which is, I'm going to say psychic. <laughs> there, now it's fire. All right, cool. And here we go. Starting out with the Galarian Lanoon. Energy switch. Fish Sharp. Score Bunny. Sinus T. Maractus. Pikachu. Galarian Meowth. Reverse Hollow Ball Toy, and on the end, a non hollow Clay Doll. Alright, over two unpacks so far, but that's okay. We have two more to go, and the Rebel Clash. So, let's see if we can pull something cool out of these. And, you know, even, um, even if we don't get anything out of the packs, I really do think that this box was definitely worth the 30 bucks because of the Dene and the Boss's Orders, you know, and then, like I said, it comes with a ton of other trainers, so... I, I definitely say it's it's worth it. It's one of the better products that, um, value-wise at least, that we've gotten in a while, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to say water. And 0 for 3. Cool. All right, here we go. Starting out with Training Court, Lampent, Medicam, Stuffle, Coughing, Impidimp, Shinx, Sandy Gast, Reverse Hollow Electrode, and on the end, a non-hollow Toxtricity. All right, 0 for 3. But that's okay. Inteleon, sorry, what are you saying Inteleon? What's wrong with me? Toxtricity is going to bring us some luck here. Come on, Toxtricity. Don't let me down now. Here's the code. 1, 2, 3 to the front. I'm going to say grass. <laughs> 0 for 4. That's okay. All right, and here we go. Starting out with Lampent, Galar Mine, Bronzong, Voltorb, Sandy Gast, Vulpix, Coughing, Shinx, Reverse Hollow Char uh, Charge Bug, and our final rare of the day, a Hollow Duraludon. All right, not bad. So we got two Hollows out of the packs, which is not terrible. You know, we didn't get plenty of Ultra Res or anything, but. I'm still very happy with this purchase, and if I am able to find any in stores today or any time in the future, I'm definitely going to snag at least one more of these, maybe even a couple. I don't know. Uh, I feel like these are going to be kind of hard to find, though, just because of the overall value of them. So if you see them at your local stores, snatch them up in a hurry. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, hit that like button, share this video, subscribe. And comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you got any of these boxes and what your pulls were out of them. And remember, the only way down Victory Road is to train hard and stay humble. I'll see you in the next video.